Hi, it's Sam teaching you AP Microeconomics. This time we're going to be learning about supply. And remember the law of demand. When the price increases, the quantity demanded of the good decreases. But imagine that you're a seller. That means you supply something. Would more people try to supply something when a good is cheaper or expensive? Like, be rational and think. Let's say that you can make a lemonade. You might not be able to cook, but you could make a lemonade, yeah? The lemonade is only selling at like 10 cents. Are you willing to go out and sell lemonade? No. You can maybe like make $1 an hour. You'd rather sit at home and watch Netflix, right? I would do that too. But if people are willing to buy lemonade at like $10 a cup, then you would go out there and sell lemonade. Because maybe you can make $200 per hour by selling 20 cups of lemonade. See, like this, as the price of a product increases, more quantity is supplied uh, because more people are willing to sell the lemonade. Law of supply, when the price of a good increases, the quantity supply of a good increases as well. Not supply of a good increases. Supply doesn't shift, but quantity supplied of a good increases. Remember the reasons why demand was downward sloping? Because of substitution effects, income effect, and diminishing marginal utility. Here, supply curve also has a reason for its upward sloping shape, but it's a little bit more simpler than demand. This is P, Q. The supply curve will look like this. <laughs> so long. Supply curve will look like this. Why is it upward sloping? Remember the law of increasing costs? When you're doing like one to two push-up, then the marginal cost of doing the second push-up is low, but then the marginal cost of doing the 99th push-up from a 98th push-up, that one more push-up would need a lot of effort, would need a lot of marginal cost. So for here as well, when you want to supply more, that would mean that the cost will increase as well. Your efforts and your costs will increase as you produce more of this good. That's why supply is upward sloping. That's one reason why supply is upward sloping. Another reason is simple, like when the price is high, more people want to supply that good, like the lemonade example. That's why the supply curve is upward sloping. So easy. Change in quantity demanded versus change in supply. Same with the demand. Change in quantity supplied, it means a movement along the supply curve. So you move from here to here because of the price change. Quantity supplied at this price, maybe like 10, then the quantity is 10. Quantity supplied at $20, it will be 20. So the higher the price, the more suppliers there are, so there would be higher supply. That's change in quantity supplied. And change in supply. Change in supply means just a shift in supply curve. Just like shift to the right, it means supply has increased. Because remember, as you go to the right word, the quantity, the quantity gets higher. So the supply shifting to the right like this would mean they are supplying more. Supply shifting to the left like this, it's not upward, but left. It would mean that they supply less. When the supply curve moves to the left of the quantity, there is less quantity. So supply shifts to the left, it means less quantity. Supply shifts to the right, it means there are more suppliers, more people are supplying. 